Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second Samuel, First and Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joel, Song, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Zeke, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, and guys like Ariah, Malachi. The Old Testament laid a strong foundation, but the New Testament is going to save our nation. 66 books, learn the word, share with others who haven't heard. 66 books going to save you and me, but you got to learn the B-I-B-L-E. 66 books in the Bible, once you learn them, you're going to be Bible. Spread the news across the nation, get the truth and the revelation. 66 books going to save you and me, but you got to learn the B-I-B-L-E. 66 books, spread the news, New Testament. John Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon. Hello and welcome to another episode of Gospel Vibes. I'm your host, Fitz Houston, and as always, we have a great show lined up for you today. But first of all, let's start with prayer. Father God, thank you so much for this show. Bless the director, the crew, and everyone watching this show, Lord, for we know it's no accident they turn to this station at this appointed time, that they may be blessed by the music they're about to hear. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, those of you who have been watching the show regularly, you may notice something different about this particular episode. The lighting's a little bit different. And you may notice the episode name this time around is Silver Streak Lady. Ah, what does that mean? Well, we'll find out about that a little bit later because my special guest today, Miss Evelyn Nelson, will be sharing some of her music and ministry with us today. Now, we'll find out about what the title of the show and one of her songs is of that same name, Silver Streak Lady, and we'll find a little bit more about that name and about our guest for today after she sings a couple of our songs. So, I want you to sit back and enjoy Miss Evelyn Nelson. Jesus told me Praise 
It's okay to cry because of the pain. With thoughts you think, are you going insane? When every night all you taste is the tears. Praise God, Evelyn Nelson. Hey, hey praise God. I'm so glad we finally got you on the show. It's my pleasure. Now, okay, now we tease the audience. Oh, okay. Silver Streak Lady, there's a backstory. Tell us about the backstory. Okay. Well, what it is is that silver means redemption. Mm -hmm. It also means uh, relationships being reconciled, brought back together. Mm -hmm. And streak means uh, events happening quickly in your life okay. over and over okay okay and those events that had happened is that in my childhood i lost my mother at a young age mm -hmm. i was placed in a foster home mm -hmm. and so i never got to know her so at the age of 10 she was shot and murdered wow, okay. and then later on in my adulthood when i was 37 my father was shot and murdered wow. so those are the two events that had happened so, so through the events how did the lord come to move into your life in terms of when do you re remember exactly that turning moment? Yeah, um, when I was four years old, I accepted Jesus as my Savior. Wow, and then four. I, yeah. Praise God. <laughs> <laughs> and then at 13, I understood what it meant as far as Lord, mm -hmm. you know, Him taking control of my life. And mm -hmm. yeah, so that surely so. helped you through yes. those events. It I did. Mean, I, was, I guess the Lord knew that, you know, He knows all things. Right. So by having you saved at such an early age, Right. You already, your footsteps are already ordered to That's be right. ready for the events coming f further down the road. Yeah. No, so so tell me about, uh, do you do all your, your writing yourself? Or? Yeah, I um, I write the original music. I started back in uh, 1988. Okay. Yeah, so I learned how to get all my music copywritten. Okay, well, yeah. we, we, yeah. know, we know about that out here <laughs> in Hollywood. <laughs> I would land. Right, you know, you so. hear, all of a sudden you hear remixes and other versions. Say, Wait a minute. 
Is that my song? And you uh, say, no, uh, no, excuse me, ching ching. No. Hello. So now you have uh, two more songs to share with us, right? Correct. Okay, so mm -hmm. what, are, what are the other two you're going to share with us? Okay. Um, one of them is a Christmas song okay. that I wrote. I can hear the angels sing. Oh it has a little bit of Spanish flavor. Okay. My dad was Puerto Rican. All right. So, and then um, the other song is called The Love Fugitive, and that's basically about my dad. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, he was bound in a world of drugs for 30 years. Wow. And yeah. when he passed away, he was considered a kingpin. Mm -hmm. But the Lord used me to bring him into the kingdom before he passed oh, away. Oh, praise God. So it's never, never too late. So yeah. those of you who think, well, my life has been filled with sin. Uh, it's too late for me. No, no, no. It's never too late because if you say, Lord, come into my life, which we'll get to at the end of the show, it's never too late to ask him to come into mm -hmm. your life. And any reason, I'm praise God for that because that yes. really touches my father. I uh, passed away of uh, prostate cancer. Okay. And just before he passed, he came to know the Lord. Beautiful. And all his, his wife the whole time was there. Yeah. So those of you who have people who, who seem to be not in line with the Lord, Prayer helps bring them into line. You may think it's not working, but you're planting that seed of prayer, and eventually they come to know the yes. Lord. Well, let me, well, I'll come back to all that. We want to hear these next two songs. I'll okay. give you Miss Evelyn Nelson. Thank you. Why are you running? Why are you running? God's knocking at your door. God's knocking at your door, God's knocking at your door, oh won't you let him in, oh won't you let him in, you're the love you to do, you're the love you to do, why are you running, why are you running, 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 God's knocking at your door. Can hear the angel 
Yes, you've been listening to the wonderful anointed music of Miss Evelyn Nelson. And of course, those of you watching the show, if you notice that every, every episode, we have some powerful testimonies. And her testimony was still another one to be ranked among the top. Not everybody's testimonies are very personal to them. If you notice, I, I was touched by several things in her testimony tonight. You had her being saved at four years old, the loss of both parents early in life, and yet she's still singing and giving glory and honor to God. Now, that may shock some people and say, well, man, I'll be depressed, and I'll be upset, and I'll be drinking, and I'll be on drugs. Yeah, if you don't know the Lord, that's exactly what you'd be doing. Now, that, as we said in the interview, the Lord who knows all your steps before they even, even come into existence knows what you're about to go through. And I think, really, because that was coming ahead of her life, he prepared her at an early age to be ready for any type of trauma that she faced, and yet she still found joy in the Lord. And if you're watching this show right now and you don't know who Jesus is that everybody's singing about. We've had rappers, we've had Christian steppers, we've had uh, praise dancers, we've had all types of talents on this show, and everybody's giving glory and honor to God. If you don't know who Jesus is that they're all singing and, and having a joyous feeling about, close your eyes right now. Say, Father God, come into my life. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and my sins. Forgive me for the wrong I've done. Forgive me for, for all the things I've done that have not been in your will. For when Jesus died on that cross for me and my sins, I commit from this day forward that I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life without lifting it up to you first. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's where you all start. And as I always say in every show, when you ask him into your life, don't go going back to doing what you used to do because you won't be able to do what you used to do. Because once he gets into your life, he starts kicking those things that are not in his will out of you, and all of a sudden, you're acting different. Now, you're not acting strange. Your friends may think you're acting strange, but you're acting different because now you're walking in his will and your friends who are not in his will don't understand what's going wrong with you. And so that's where it all starts. And of course, you increased your level of faith by attending church regularly, getting involved in Bible study, change the things you're listening to, watch what you're watching on television, the movies you watch, all that affects what you're planting into your spirit. So when you ask the Lord into your life, you have to do something, too. That's where it all begins. Look, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to Gospel Vibes. And those of you who are also learning the books of the Bible, the theme song, whether it's the remix, jazz rap, or the hip-hop version, I don't care which version you're learning. As long as you learn the books of the Bible, email me, 
if you can if you live locally and you want to do it with me on the show email me i'll have you in the show or if you're bad enough i have you do it by yourself or if you're in another, another state send me your performance and i'll actually have it on the show like we've had three guests so far send in their performances so i'm waiting for those emails thank you so much thank you so much for tuning in to gospel vibes i'll see you next time stay blessed what's happening y'all it's time to learn the six six books in the bible y'all ready here we go Six, seven, and just as it is not to like me, touch my judges and food. From the same son, from the same king, from the same God, because Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Joseph, Slam, Lizzie, Sleep, Son, Simon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Nevertheless, and God, Jose, and Joe, and God, and God. Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, and Guy, Zechariah, Malachi. The Old Testament is a strong foundation, but the New Testament is going to save our nation. Six, 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 six